Well, it's a very bleak forecast. That's today. That's tomorrow. Look at that breeze. Thursday. Friday. And the same for Saturday. Rain, 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 and more rain. I don't like it. It's cooking today. That's rough as bricks right there. Behind the house like that. Look at that. God, it's one of the limbs don't break off. Oh. There's a baby eagle in there. There's a squirrel hawk waiting for the squirrel to show her head off so I can go chase him. I guess you can see her. Where is she? There she is. Squirrel's over there. Somewhere. Well, it's two hours later now. Hadn't rained lately. Got a little break in the action for it's rain. Sounds like it's going to rain this afternoon some more. But the wind is still rough. I'll take you over to the bay in a minute. Let's you look at the washing machine. <laughs> they got some damn trucks working today, ain't they? That house is full of people. They're probably running into one another. Well, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty bad, but not rough as bricks by no means. Walk back this way, away from the wind a little bit. You remember that house right there on the corner I told you was for sale? Well, it's got an under contract sign on the sign now for somebody that already bought it. I see the guy moving out of, he's moving stuff out of there now with his truck. And like I said, you probably couldn't hear it, but as we walk by the other house, they got so many people working today, I guarantee they got a traffic jam inside that house. Never seen so many trucks. That's the house I'm talking about right there. Under contract. Be able to hear a little better going this way since the wind's behind us. Instead of straight on us. <laughs> Green Matter City, still rough. No rain coming though. Well, that's a about 7 p.m. It's really cooking now, boys. <laughs> look, at that. look at them trees over there. The ones that are higher than the buildings. It's working out. 
I haven't been over to the bay for a while, so I don't know what's going on over there. It's raining, you know, not heavy, just light sprinkle, but it's been doing that for about two hours. I got one brand new spanking Craftsman lawnmower blade to do. I said, I want it really sharp. I said, <laughs> okay. I can't believe it. Somewhere I got a, I got a big sword. Where's that sword? Where'd you put that sword? It's a military sword. I think the fellow said army. I don't know if it's going to be clean up a bull or not. I know this brass part will clean up nice. But this baby is in bad shape. But the blade inside is a stainless blade. The blade is perfect. Decorative type blade, no edge. I mean, it has an edge, but it's like like a pencil point. You know, it's not very sharp. And this thing, it, it doesn't need any work. I may buff it up a little teeny bit. This baby's gonna be the hard part right here. Okay, but he don't need it till the 29th for his birthday. Well, we're not eating Mexican tonight. Tuesdays aren't Mexican night. Usually, we're uh, getting Italian food to go at an old Italian restaurant called Franco's. Lasagna and shrimp and scallops. And an pasto salad. And two tiramisu's. Any pasto for two, Italian bread, lasagna, shrimp and scallops ling with uh, linguine, and two tiramisu's. Ain't bad. Well, we got it all ready to eat. Everybody's just sitting around waiting for a little snack or two. My big old Jack. You're looking for some snack, ain't you, big old Jack? Yes, you are. These roughest bricks today, though, buddy. I told you it was coming. to the Nissan dealership to get my truck inspected. Virginia makes you get an inspection sticker, safety inspection sticker every year. And you can see mine is going to expire in the end of this month. So I have an 11 o'clock appointment to get my van inspected. Then I gotta go to the oceanfront to land a nada and pick up some knives. And then I'm gonna work on that sword some. I worked on it some this morning. I got all the exterior rust off of it. it looks it looks you know pretty good. But I want to finish it, you know, finish it off so it's pretty nice and shiny. It's shiny now, but it's got some meager scratches in it here and there. I'll get back to you on that project.
Well, I'm home now. Here's what I picked up. Four Wustos, one little small Cutco serrated para, kitchen scissors, and sewing scissors, or fabric scissors, or quilting scissors. Well, gas in this Wawa has been 169 for at least two weeks. But there's another Wawa just up the street here, and I got a feeling it's a uh, dollar fifty-five or in that range. And I need some. You think I should drive a few miles to save a few meager pennies? I'm headed over to Eddie's house now to take that sword over there and let him look at something on it. And to take the regulators over for the hooker rig. He's rebuilding the engine, as you know, I think. And maybe putting seals in the air compressor. I'm not sure what he wants the regulators for, but he requested them, so I'm delivering them. I'll get back to you. Well, it's been six hours since we were here last. Get ready. It's rough as bricks. Ah, rough as bricks, boy. Ooh, baby. down though. What is it? Is it time? <laughs> it's time to go out and play ball, huh? All right, let's get with it. You ready? That tail. Local news just came on and said this storm is uh, what they call something like an omega storm. It's another storm out west, and this storm is spinning around on the east coast. It's something called omega, whatever whatever that means. And it could hang around for a couple more days. If it hangs around for a couple more days, like it is right now, it's going to be something. You see from, I'm sure a lot of you all have uh, got the news on in different areas what's happening already from this little breeze we're having in other parts of the country. I don't know what's going to happen. And flooding. Yeah, flooding Carolina. North Carolina, yeah, I know it. A spot of tea. That's it, I'll see you tomorrow. No, I got two reports. 
uh, Beaver. Beaver went to the bay out front here from his house past uh, my house about a half a mile. Found a, a few meager coins and a fair amount of gray matter. And Mr. FedEx Jimmy, he went to the land of Nala. He didn't find, at least he didn't post anything other than coins, but he found a, I don't know, I don't know six, I'll see if I can find the pictures, but stand by. But he only found coins. But that's all he posted anyway. Well, there's FedEx Jimmy's post. Looks like four quarters and five dimes and I guess the other things are nickels and a fair amount of pennies from the land of Nala. I think that's an improvement though. All right, there's Beavers. He got some change and junk, some nice gray matter and a bling, bling ring. Let's see if I can get that up here. Let's see now. That's the wrong way. There it is. Bling. But I can tell you right now, like I said, if this storm hangs around a little while. Ooh, wait a minute. I think I see a... Let's go back. That looks like a cremation tag. It is a cremation tag. Oh, let's throw that baby boy back. Mmm. I haven't found too many of them in the land of Nada, but he's on a bay. Unusual. But if you remember a couple of months back, I found an urn up in the dunes, so I guess anything's possible. I'll see you tomorrow somewhere. This is a... See what it looks like in the morning.